Many nonprofit leaders have never experienced the boost in income, public relations, recruitment that come from a fundraising event. You may be one of those leaders. If that's the case, join me as I feature unique event ideas available to you. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Jim Dempsey, and this channel is designed to help you raise more money for your nonprofit organization. Let's get started. There are four popular types of fundraising events sponsorship events, direct ask events, pay for perceived value events, and cultivation events. Let's start with the first one. Type number one, sponsorship events. A sponsorship event is one in which volunteers participate in a sport or other activity and raise funds from their network of adult friends, family, associates, and acquaintances in the form of commitments, the total amount of which is dependent upon the level of participation in, of the volunteer in the sport or activity. There are five types of sponsorship events. The first, walk jogathon where sponsors commit an amount per mile walked or run by a participant. Second, bike-a-thon, where sponsors commit an amount per mile bicycled by a participant. Number three, bowl-a-thon, where sponsors commit an amount per frame bowled by a participant. Number four, baseball-a-thon, where sponsors commit an amount per inning of a baseball game played in a day by a participant. Number five, golf marathon, where sponsors commit an amount per hole of golf played in a day by a participant. Type no event number two, direct ask events. A direct ask event is one in which participants are informed about a project or program for their consideration as potential givers. Types of direct ask events include small dinners, that's an intimate dinner with a few, usually 6 to 24, key or middle donors where a specific project or program is presented for funding consideration. Number two, vision trips or vision tours. That's a trip to the front lines to view your efforts or a tour of facilities during which a challenge is made to fund those efforts or your organization. Number three, major donor weekend. That's an event for major donors and prospective major donors lasting from Thursday or Friday evening through Sunday noon in which participants are educated, motivated, and challenged to make a significant gift or commitment to your organization. Event type number three, pay for perceived value events. A pay for perceived value event is an event in which attendees or participants pay a ticket or pay to participate and receive something of value and the excess proceeds are used for the organization. Types of pay for, for perceived value events include a benefit concert. That's a concert performed by a known entertainer in which ticket sale profits are used for the sponsoring organization. Number two, a black tie dinner. That's a formal dinner in which profits for the sale or tickets for plates or tables are used to benefit the sponsoring organization. Number three, a golf tournament. That's an event in which golfers pay a flat fee to play 18 holes of golf with excess profits used for the sponsoring organization. Number four, auctions. That's an event in which items are donated or provided at a reduced price to an organization and sold to the highest bidder among participants with excess revenue used for the sponsoring organization. It's important to remember that in pay for perceived value events, there are tax implications. Please consult your attorney before moving forward. Type number four, cultivation events. A cultivation event is an event designed to cultivate donors and prospects through information, education, motivation, and relationship building in which there is no ask for gifts or financial commitments. Type of cultivation events include the following. A weekend retreat. That's an event usually limited to major or middle donors for the purpose of meeting the real and felt needs of the participants while also communicating the organization through a variety of activities. Number two, donor outings. That's an event usually limited to major or middle donors revolving around some sport or other activity sponsored by the organization 
with the primary purpose of providing a good time for the participants. Number three, vision trips or vision tours. That's a trip to a front lines of your organization or a tour of facilities in which participants are educated and motivated concerning the organization and relationships are built with organization leadership. What is the true measure of success? That can be outlined in four key ways. Number one, new name acquisition. That's the winning that we've talked about before. Number two, donor activation or reactivation. That's the keeping of individuals. Number three, donor upgrade. That's the lifting that we've talked about. And number four, fulfillment. Making sure that those commitments are fulfilled. There are many unique and effective events to add to your portfolio of fundraising strategies. Each varies in effectiveness and outcome. Whichever you choose, be sure to do it with excellence. Nonprofits have a terrible reputation of doing things half-heartedly or on the cheap. Be sure to be the organization that sets a positive example for the community and the world and strive to have an event that is the high point of the donor's year. Choose an event and begin now. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you have fundraising questions, submit them on Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java and email me if you need to at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as always, I wish you the best as you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.